11 games in the K this Wednesday, and that means there's no shortage of highlights on today's daily KHL update. Let's head over to Ufa for starters, where Salavat housed Admiral. First period, Archer Skulda puts the puck on net, rebound follows, and Alexander Pankov has his first of the year to put Salavat in the lead on nothing home team. Let's go by Salavat, get a man advantage. Timo Hardikainen takes a shot, and he scores. Hardikainen with his seventh of the season, and Salavat now lead 2 0. Here now Vladislav Foshenin digs his way into the slot, he's hooked and slashed, and the ref has given him a penalty shot. Foshenin skates in, fakes the shot, and then sends it upstairs. Nice move, nice goal, 2-1. But that's the last of scoring in this one. Salavat holds on to the lead and take three points on home ice. 2-1 Salavat final. Next up, Chalabinsk, where Traktor hosts Doug Boris. Ogbars opened up the score in halfway through the opening frame. Ilya Nikula and Jason Azevedo set up Mikhail Varnikov, and his job is easy. 1-0 Ogbars. Second period now, Sinon Kokoyov gets the puck in the high slot, skates up, shoots, hits the post, and scores on his own rebound. Great effort by Kokoyov with his fourth of the year. 1-1. Less than two minutes later, Ogbars gets their lead back. Demir Musin sends a long one all the way up to Vladimir Kachev. He's in on a breakaway, and he scores. What a pass by Damir Musin. Ogbars now lead 2-1. Third period, Traktor on a power play, looking for a game-time goal. Darren Quint takes a shot from the high slot, and he scores. Quint nets his fifth of the year, and we had a two-shootout. And it's Vladimir Kachev who's the hero of the night for Ogbars, as he nets the winner. Great night for Kachev. 3-2, Ogbars is your final on this one. This is Toljadia, where Lada hosts after on the list. First period, and home team gets on the board. Stanislav Bucherov has his fourth of the season on a rebound, and Lada takes the lead, 1-0. On to the second now, and Lada doubles their lead. Gola Ilya Zhov picks up the only assist on Martin Zatavic, seventh of the season. Nice sequence for the home team, 2-0. Early in the third now, and after the list, get a goal back on a power play. Alexander Rybakov scores his fourth of the year to slice Lada's lead in half, 2-1. After that, captain Andrei Nikitenko restores the two-goal margin. He beats Jakob Kovar's top shelf short side, and that's going to be the game winner. Lada go on to win this one and take three points on home ice. 4-2, Lada is your final. Andre Loktyanov returns to Lokomotiv, and in his first KHL game, he faces Dynamo Minsk. First period, Dynamo in the offensive end, the puck bounces all over the place and Jonathan Chichi finds a way to send it in. It's been a while since he scored, 1-0 Minsk. Second period now and here's Chichi again, this time he picks up an assist as Paul Shifura scores off a 2-on-1 rush to make it 2-0 Minsk. Just over a minute later though, home team gets on the board, Igor Yakovlev has his fifth of the year to make it 2-1. Still on the second and Loco tie it up, Sergei Gonkov plants himself at the hash marks and scores his first of the night on a rebound, who tied it twos. Third period now, Andrei Lektyanov jumps out of the penalty box, calls for the puck, gets it, breakaway, and he scores! Andrei Lektyanov comes back to Yaroslav after seven years in North America and scores in his first KHL game, 3-2 Lokomotiv. Short left of that though, Alexander Matyarukin scores his fifth of the year to bring it all back to even, 3-3 now. At 51-17, Paul Shifura scores his second of the night and eighth of the year to put Dynamo back in the lead, 4-3 now. Late in regulation, Jonathan Chichu gets on a breakaway and that's how it usually ends. Chichu nets his second of the night, 12th of the year and picks up his fourth point in this one, 5-3 Dynamo Minsk. Sergei Konkov gave Lokomotiv some hope as he scores his second of the night with just under two minutes left in the third, but that was as close as they were gonna get. Dynamo stand their ground and walk away with three points in the bag. 5-4 Dynamo Minsk final. We're in Moscow now where Dynamo hosts Medvedchuk. No scoring in the first, so we pick it up from the second and it takes Dynamo just 14 seconds to get on the board. Maxim Kostushko has his tenth of the year with a great wrist shot. 1-0 Dynamo Moscow. A little later, Medvedchuk get a goal of their own. Mark Popov scores his first of the season on a rebound. Chris Kalanas and James Wright draw the assists. 1-1. Late in the period, Dynamo's defenseman scores his first of the season as well. Left Karagin puts Dynamo back in the lead with his first career KHL goal. 2-1 Dynamo after 40. Third period, not much time left on the clock now. Medvedchuk had desperate for a goal and they get one. Chris Kalana scores his second of the season with less than a minute left in regulation. We're headed to overtime. Here's a golden opportunity for Dynamo to wrap it up. Kaspar's Daugavich on a breakaway beats Marka Wuya. 
but he can't put it in. Off the post and back into play it goes. No goal. This one will be decided in a shootout. And guess what? Chris Kalana scores the winner in this one as well. Kalanas is the first star of the game as Medvedchuk take two points on the road. 3-2 Medvedchuk final. Let's head over to Sochi now. Tonight the host Slovan will pick it up from the second. No scoring so far, but that's about to change. Andre Kostitsin digs his way to hash marks and beats Jaroslav Janos to make it 1-0 Sochi. Soon after that, Alexander Shubina has the puck behind the net, centers it for Timofey Shishkanov and he scores. Shishkanov has his second of the year and Sochi now leads 2-0. A little later, Sochi scores a beauty. Andre Patterson drops the puck for Evgeny Lepinkov, he feeds Roman Lutuchin on the far post and it's in. Marvelous pass and play in Sochi lead 3-0. And less than four minutes later, Roman Lulucin scores his second of the night and sixth of the season to make it 4 0 Sochi. Full throttle. Sochi have been really good lately. Slovan gets just one goal on this one as Stefan Ruzicka scores his second of the season halfway through the final frame. That's hardly of any consolation though. 4 1 Sochi final on this one. Helsinki Finland is the side of our next game. Jokir at House Kuzna. And it was never a contest. Early in the first, Vili Lajunen makes a hard pass to Petr Koko and he scores a power play goal. 1 0 Jokiri. 18 seconds later, F2 Boosty scores his fourth of the year to put Jokiri up by two. That's only the beginning, though. A little later, another power play for Jokiri. Juhan Matje Altinen takes a shot and he finds the back of the net for the seventh of the year. 3 0 Jokiri now. Three minutes later, Niklas Hagman gets to celebrate his 14th of the year as he converts on yet another man advantage. 4-0 Jokir. There's nothing Kuzni can do to stop them. They try to turn things around in the second as Alexander Kamariste beats Henry Carlson for his fifth of the season. 4-1 now. Not gonna help. Five minutes later, Steve Moses scores his 23rd of the year to climb back on top of the league in goal scoring. 5-1 Jokir. And here's a little cherry on top. Sari Santori scores his first career KHL goal to give us our final. Jokir win this one 6-1. Just a few more scores to tell you about. Vitis beat Torpedo 3-1. Maxima Finneganum's late goal was the winner in this one. Sergei Mazakin's 16th of the year proved to be the winner for Magnitka as they beat Neptekimik 3-1. Stefan Da Costa, he came, he saw, he won. In his first game back after injury, the Frenchman scored a hat-trick and racked up 5 points as Redarmi beat Severstal 9-1. This is not a glitch, it really happened. And finally, Dmitry Kugrushev's hat-trick was the key factor for Sibiru as they beat Atlan on the road 5-2. And that's it for your daily KHL update. A pretty eventful day, wouldn't you say? Check out our YouTube channel for more great stuff. My name is Andreas Sachinke. See you guys soon.